Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the home screen of your iPhone on iOS 16 look a little bit more 3D in a sense. You can also customize things like the dock where you can hide the notch. Some pretty cool stuff. You can have cool kind of widget borders and a bunch of things. And it's called Home Screen Creator. Now, before we get into the tutorial here, I do want to mention that if you guys are curious about the wallpapers I'm using, I will be creating a post on my website that has all the details on everything. Uh, link will be down in the description. But yes, Home Screen Creator allows you to add shadows behind your icons. You can customize the dock, you can hide the notch, there's different types of shadows, there's cool effects that you can add to the widgets and a bunch of stuff. And it works on iOS 16. I believe this has been out since iOS 15, might even be iOS 14. But anyways, it works on iOS 16 and I think it's a really cool way to make your iPhone look very custom. But anyways, we're going to jump into this. We're going to go into Chrome. We're going to go to this website here. Again, I'll have all the information on my post link in the description. And uh, this is Home Screen Creator. Now, this uh, is a really nicely designed page. It tells you what it can do. It can hide the notch. It can mask wallpapers, style the dock, add icon shadows, add widget shadows, and build and save different layouts. Now, there's a full step-by-step -step guide here. So if you guys need to refer to this, feel free. But what we're going to do is scroll all the way to the bottom and we're going to click on home screen creator at the bottom there. So just click on that and it's going to install the shortcut into the shortcuts application. Click add shortcut and now we have home screen creator. Now at this point we can run the shortcut. And then you can see we are prompted to pick what device we have. Now unfortunately I don't see iPhone 13 on this list. I'm not sure if it's going to be updated for that or not. Um, and I, I don't think that iPhone 12 has the same screen dimensions. I might be wrong on that. Um, I guess if you have an iPhone 13, you could try the iPhone 12 sizes and see if that works. But unfortunately, there's no iPhone 13. But there is a bunch of older iPhones up to iPhone 12. So I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max. So that's what I'm going to choose. And it lets you know this is what you choose. Just click on OK. And it says you are missing content required to use the shortcut. So we're going to download the content.zip. And we're going to allow the download just by clicking on allow here. And it just lets you know content has been downloaded to your files app. Now we need to unzip it. So we're going to click on OK. And it immediately jumps me to the shortcuts folder within iCloud Drive in my files application. And you can see right there is home screen creator. So HSC. Now, if for whatever reason, it doesn't navigate you to where you need to be. Again, iCloud Drive. Scroll down until you see shortcuts and then go into HSC, and you will see that there's a content.zip file. Click on that, and it will extract the content. And then we can delete the zip file at this point. We no longer need it after it is extracted. And then we can go through here, and we can actually uh, check out some of the different effects. Um, it actually might help uh, if I take my device out of dark mode, just so we can see. Hopefully I'm not blinding the screen with switching between dark and light mode. I think it looks okay. So uh, if you turn it on light mode, you can see these shadows. So there you go, you can see what the shadows look like. These are all the different shadows. Now, for some reason, um, iOS 16 is really bad about automatically downloading the content of things that are in iCloud. So this could be kind of a pain in the butt at first, but what you can do is you can just go through and check out what each thing is here. Um, but you can see these are depth shadows. You, you basically choose where you want these shadows to be wherever you happen to have icons. And I'll show you guys this in action. So there's icons. There's a bunch of different shadows. There's widget stuff here. You can have like widget frames as you guys can see here. So you can frame on the widgets. There's just a ton of stuff you can do. I recommend you guys to sit down and just play with all these different things to see what the different effects are. Uh, but you can really make your home screen look really quite cool and custom. Uh, with just this kind of 3D look or whatever you want. But anyways, we're going to try and quickly build a home screen layout so you guys can see it in action. Now, I'm not going to go too crazy. I'm going to just mimic this style so you guys can see how it works. So we're going to jump back into shortcuts. We're going to run home screen creator and we're going to build a layout. So if you already have a layout, you can say, no, I have a layout. Choose that, choose the wallpaper and set it and be done. But if you don't, you have to build a layout. So we're going to click on add elements. 
And for some reason on iOS 16, the shortcuts app doesn't remember where the hell I was. So it keeps taking me back to rasp, uh, raspberry theme. So I have to back out every time and navigate. So I'll show a couple by example, and then I will just kind of skip through it and show you the end result. So again, we're going into shortcuts. We're going to HSC home screen creator. We're going to choose content. And the first item on my home screen is a widget in the upper left. So I'm going to select widget and I already kind of know what I want to do. I'm going to do shadows big. And as you can see, the previews are not here. Uh, but what is in the upper left is small one. You can kind of reference small three is middle on the left. Small two would be upper on the right. So small one. So we're going to select that and it shows you kind of a preview of where that element is going to be. So we're going to click done. And we're going to add another layer. So we need to do the icons now for the upper right. And there's probably a preset for this already, but I'm just going to show you guys, you know, real quick here, just how you can build these different kind of looks for your home screen. It's really quite cool. So again, shortcuts, home screen creator, content. We're going to go into the icons section here, and I'm going to do shadows big for those as well. And then we need to do, um, so block four is middle right, middle left upper right so block two so i'm going to select on that and there you go you can see that we have the widget and now we have the shadows for the icons i'm going to go ahead and click on done and i'm going to add another layer now i need to do the icons for the middle left and freaking raspberry theme awesome theme but i just wanted to go back to where i left off please apple fix this in beta 2 home screen creator content icons Shadows big, block three is what I need. So we'll do block three. And maybe I will change the style of the shadows midway through so you guys can see a difference here. So I'll click on done. And yes, I'll add another layer. Raspberry, iCloud Drive, shortcuts, home screen creator, content. Now we're gonna do widgets. And maybe I'll do a frame with blue or something. I don't know, it sounds different. So we need, so small two, small three is middle, small four is middle right. So I'm just doing this. This isn't going to be something that I use normally. I'm just putting it there for example. So there we go. We have a frame for the widgets added and I'm going to click done. And then I'm going to save the layout at this point. I could go through and complete this. Um, I'll say layout YouTube test. So I know what it is and we'll click on done. All right, your layout has been saved, so we're gonna click on OK, done. Choose your wallpaper. We'll choose this one. Again, links in the description if you guys are curious about the wallpapers. So right here, um, you can choose if you want a card, a card dock, a hide the notch, or no. So this is a little bit of customization. I will say, we'll do card dock, so you guys can see what it looks like. We're gonna allow this. It's gonna download it and apply it. So there you go, you can see that's what the card dock looks like. We're gonna click on done. This is what it looks like with our overlay. I'm gonna click done. And I'm gonna just going to, I think set wallpaper might be a little weird on iOS 16. So I'm just gonna click save photo. And then I'm going to always allow on these. And it should be good to go. Now if we go into photos, you can see there is the custom wallpaper that I just built right before you guys. Now I know it's not complete and it's not amazing, but that's basically how I pulled off the look you guys are seeing right here. Now, iOS 16 is a little weird with setting wallpapers. You have to do it this way, which I think is really annoying. But we're going to get through this. And choose that. It's really buggy on iOS 16. Hopefully it... I can't even pinch it. We'll just click done. That's not that wallpaper, but what can you do? iOS 16 is a little bit, little bit buggy, but there you go. As you can see, now it has a real crazy look. We have some big shadows above these icons. Really makes them look like they pop. I'm not sure if you guys can tell in the YouTube video how much they look like they're popping out of the screen compared to these ones, but they really have a 3D look. And then we have this really cool card style overlay for that widget, which just really adds a cool effect. We got a dock and separation, the notch is being hidden. There's just a ton of cool stuff you can do with this shortcut. 
Like I said, it's extremely customizable. The different types of things you can come out for your home screen is absolutely awesome, especially being that it works on iOS 16. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been IDM, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.